In this video, super simple and straight to the point, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use Adobe Premiere Pro to create this awesome animation and add it to your video so you can ask your viewers to subscribe, like the video, and turn on the bell notification. So my friends, welcome to a brand new video here on my YouTube channel, Nemo TV. I'm Nima, and here on my YouTube channel, I usually post lots of video editing tutorials and tech reviews. And today, as I told in the intro of the video, I'm back with a, like a very minimalistic and easy to use subscription animation tutorial because that's one of the most essential and basic stuff that any YouTuber needs if they want to convert their viewers into subscribers, which is how we actually grow our channel, right? I've kind of put this together in like the easiest way possible to do and actually below in the description I've included all of the files the PNG files and the free version of the sound effects that I'm actually using to create the subscription animation so if you don't have yours just feel free to go below in the description and download the free assets that I've already included for you guys before actually getting started and following along to create your own uh, subscription animation for your YouTube channel. So you don't have to create this whole thing every time. You just create it as a template and every time that you're creating a new project, you just drag and drop it once it's ready. So I'm just going to name it my new uh, subscription animation. Lots of typos here, but we got this. And for location, I just already, I already had on desktop, I've created like minimalistic thingy. So I'm just going to put it there, hit OK. And since I record all my videos in 4K, I'm gonna go to File, New, Sequence. I'm gonna create a uh, 4K sequence. If you do HD, just go to Red R3D from 1080p. Just choose this one. Uh, since I'm doing 4K, I'm gonna go HD 4K and just click on the 24 because I record 24 frames per second. For the sequence name, I'm just gonna put uh, New Sub Animation. And hit okay okay now we are kind of ready to put stuff together i've already recorded like a short video to just put it on the layer beneath so so we can kind of get a feeling of how it's going to look like at the end so i'm going to import that base video for now so i go to assembly and at the left section from the project here we'll see all the media files that we are going to be importing so i already have it right here where is it this one i just recorded that so i'm just going to drag and drop it here it's, it's raw, it's not even color graded. I double click on it, I get the part that I actually want to include. Let me just put the volume down because it's playing back from here. So I think it's the last part. It should be this one. Let's say I think it's gonna start from here. I'm gonna mark in. That's it, mark out. And once we have it ready, we just drag and drop it over our timeline, keep existing settings, all good. And this is like the base file, let's say. It's just gonna make things easier for us. Now, as I said, I've included all of the assets that you need below in the description. We're just gonna select all of these uh, PNG files and just drag and drop them here. Now, we are gonna start by importing the profile picture. And I'm gonna sh animate it on the left side of my screen. So I drag and drop my profile picture here, like that. And I click on it from the effects control. I go to opacity and click on this, the ellipse, el ellipse mask, and then it's just gonna create like a circle shape. Now I, I just form it to create like a decent circle out of it. Let's say, this looks kind of, yeah. I think this is acceptable. Let me see how it looks like. Yeah, it's good. Now, once this is ready, I'm just gonna move it up. Just put it there for now. And I'm just gonna make it as long as my like video typically is in the part of asking them to subscribe. And then I go back to assembly and I drag and drop the subscribe, the red one, the before subscription thing and I just drag and drop it on top of this. So since I've already created all of these for 4K, so you don't have to resize them. If you're doing 4K, if it's 1080, you just need to drop the scale to 50%. To do that, it's gonna show up way bigger for you. So click on the element that you, it's too big, and then you go to editing, 
and from the scale just you put 50 over here but if it's 4k it should be already fine so i just extend it to make sure it covers the whole thing and then i just move it to the left side let's say let's say i want it to be like around here so i put it here now i move my profile picture based on that i'm going to put it on top i'm going to make it smaller i think this should be fine so i just put it right here let's say here yeah i like this megusa and once you have this you just go to assembly again and you drag and drop the subscribed uh, png on top of that and you extend this as well now what are, you need to do is click the subscribe one the red one which is right here C command c it's going to copy the attributes and then you click on the subscribed one, which is in the middle. I want to have this exactly where this is. So I right click, paste attributes, and I just choose motion. And I click okay, it's gonna move here. So if I hide this, you see they're on top of each other. Perfect. Now what I'm gonna be doing is, let me just make this a little bit bigger. I'm gonna be moving my, uh, the like, extend this so it's long enough and then go to editing effects control and use this to just move it below the subscribe button perfect here's fine now the only part that is left to drag and drop is gonna be the bell drag and drop on top so we have this same thing make sure it covers the whole duration of your animation and then go to editing and move i want to move this below the like thingy the thumbs up and I bring a lure let's put it here I think it looks fine and if you want to resize them make them smaller bigger just help yourself and you should be good to go let me just see what we've got all right we have all the elements the only elements that is left is the the, the, the cursor I drag and drop it on top of the whole thing this is the last layer that you drag and drop I'm gonna go to editing while selecting this cursor and make it smaller let's say here now that we have everything ready we are going to be animating it how is it going to be happening through keyframing super simple just just pay attention all right so what is going to be happening is this whole thing is going to slide in and then once it's done it's going to slide out but we won't be worrying about those yet it, that's that's like the easy part of it what we are going to be doing is just animating our cursor now when i say more of my videos before asking them to subscribe i want this to slide in so it's going to be around here right so what i do i click on the cursor and i turn on the position uh keyframe like this and without moving anything, I just move it out of the frame. So right now it's here, right? I just move it out of the frame, let it be. Now, so I say subscribe. When I say subscribe, I bring the cursor on top of the subscribe. Let's say I bring it before I say, let's say at this time, I bring it here. And once I say subscribe, I bring it lower on top of this. And then once you are on the subscribe button, you want it to be there for like a second. So I say subscribe, let's say till here, I want it to be subscribed. So what I do, once I'm here, I click on this circle, it duplicates the same keyframe, so it stays there. And then I say like, right? So I want it to, in here I want it to say like, so I bring a lower, I click on this, I hold it here, so, I let it move here. I create an exact keyframe. And then at the end, I'm gonna say, uh, turn on the bell notification. So I bring it low on the bell, and then I hold it there for a couple of seconds. And then I move it out. Like this, let's say move it down now i feel like this is a little bit too late i say it too quickly so what i'm going to be doing i'm going to select all of my keyframes and bring it a little bit back now if i play it there you go you want it to happen faster select all of your keyframes bring it a little bit like it's gonna happen sooner 
Now if I play it. There you go. So you can always adjust these. Just make sure you create two of each keyframe so it's not gonna be continuously moving. So if you notice, if I play it, so on the subscribe, it stays and then moves. So these two keyframes are in the same position and then this moves in here. It's gonna be in the same position because it's not gonna be con continuously moving. So make sure you have two of each keyframe as I just did it. When I'm actually clicking on the subscribe button, I want it to change from subscribe to subscribed. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna make this visible. So it's gonna be subscribe, right? So let it be playing. Okay, once the subscribe happens, I want the, the subscribed thing to happen, right? So I cut it from the beginning and I bring it here. So now what's happening is the subscribe is gonna be there. Once the cursor comes, it changed to subscribe and the rest happens. So this is something that you need to do. And once you're done with this, now you select all of these layers right click and we create a nest out of it nest is just going to put everything into one group and you won't be worried about what's happening inside now i have the plan of animating this whole thing how am i going to do the slide thing so i'm going to go to effects and over here i'm going to look for transform once i find transform from here i drag and drop it over this right once you do this i click on this i go to editing and from effects control, I'm gonna just come down here until I get to transform. And now go to where you want this to slide in. So, okay, about here. I'm gonna go a little bit back. At this point, I want it to slide in. So and at this point, while I have clicked on this from effects control slide, I'm gonna toggle on the, the position, okay? And then I'm gonna take it out like this. And then I let it be playing. Over here, I bring it in. I want it to slide in at this point. I put it right here, okay? And then I let it be playing. And in here, I want it to slide out. But before doing that, I create a keyframe and then I let it pass. Let's say I bring it over. Now I want it to slide out. So I slide it back. Now, after you did this to make it look a little bit cool, don't tell everyone I told you this, it's, it's cool. Just uncheck this, okay, this one, and put the shutter angle on 90. Yeah. All right, now the only part that is left are the sound effects. So I already included some license free kind of uh, sound effects already in the folder that you are gonna be downloading. But if you wanna have more freedom in the music and sound effects using like me, I'm pretty sure you've already heard about epidemic sound from other creators and YouTubers, but it just gives you access to a whole bunch of license free like uh, uh, music and sound effects because it's already included on your subscription. For example, if you want the whip sound or click sound or bell sound, it, it's all there. I, I, I've already downloaded mine. If you go through this, you see whoosh, click, bell, pop, whip. It's already there. I've already downloaded them. Uh, it's in the folder and you have some license free ones uh, that I already found from the internet for you from the link below in the description. Anyways, let's just put them there and see how it's gonna improve our video. Now, when it's gonna slide in, I want like a whip or whoosh kind of sound effect that I already have it here. Where is it? Right here. So it should be this one. Yeah, let's say this one. So I just drag and drop it over here. I think it was here. In here, I want it to happen. So I drag and drop it right here. I zoom in a little bit. Yeah, perfect. And when it's sliding out, I'm gonna have the same thing. So I'm just gonna copy this or you can just go to simply drag and drop it again. So it's gonna be at the end. In here. So I just, uh, come on. I'm gonna drag and drop it here. So if I play it. If it's too soon, I move it a little bit further. I think here. Yeah, here is good. Now we are gonna have some clicking, bell notification and pop sound. Yeah, this is the click, I love this. So I drag and drop it here. 
I double click to pick the one that I want. Yeah, this, this one, I like this one. And then I just drag and drop it here. Now let's see. Make sure to subscribe. So. Subscribe, like. Let's say here. Subscribe, like. Yeah, let me increase its volume. Editing. And I'm gonna just put 10. Subscribe, like the video. Okay, when I say like the video, I'm clicking on it. So I'm just gonna copy paste one here. Like the video and turn on that bell. And the bell, the click before. I'm just gonna copy paste one here. Turn on that bell notification. Now, when I'm uh, clicking on like. subscribe and like, I want the pop. And then when I click on bell, I want a bell sound effect which i already have it here so pop yeah i like this one so drag and drop it actually i'm just gonna drag and drop it here so it's gonna be here i think like the video it's gonna happen sooner let me zoom in i think it's here like the video. i'm gonna increase this volume to 10 it's too low like the video okay when i said like the video i want the same thing so I'm gonna copy paste this right here. And turn on that bell notification. When I say, let me see, make sure the like is on time. Bell and turn on that yeah. And when I said bell, I want the bell song. I think I have it here. Where is it? Yeah, this one. This is cute. So I just drag and drop it over here. Hopefully it's not that long. Bell notification. Oh, beautiful. Let me just trim the end part of it. And that's it. And then at the end, I select all of these and this, and I right click on them and I create a group out of them. So you, they move together. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed and you're looking forward to watching more of my videos, make sure to subscribe, like the video and turn on that bell notification. Now, if you wanna, if you have a new project and uh, you're working on it, you wanna drag and drop this, let's say I have a new project. I have five new projects, let's say test. Let's say create a new project. And in the new project, let's say I have a new, new sequence, let's say anything like this. I'm just not even gonna put it. Let's say I, I, I've done my video, it's ready to go. I wanna add, uh, let's say the animation and everything. All you need to do is to open the project that has contains your uh, template, which in case is this one, and just either select this group uh, and copy it or just drag and drop it over the sequence in the new project and just as you can see it's right here right so i'm just going to drag and drop it anywhere in this that i want there you go you can, you can just play around with it the timing and everything you want to make it shorter because we have a gap in here i can easily just before grouping this i'm just going to ungroup and make this shorter so it's gonna just gonna Save us some. Where is it? In here, it's not even there. So I'm just gonna. I can easily just trim this and make it shorter, and then group it again. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching it and you found value in it, and you are not a subscriber yet, make sure to hit that. I've just destroyed that subscribe button. After you destroyed the subscribe button, destroyed the like button, and then destroyed the comment section and keep destroying my youtube channel so i can grow and i mean it's, it's fun right anyways uh, if you had any questions while making your own uh animation subscriber thing let me know below in the comments i would be more than happy to answer your questions and as always please be safe thanks for watching this video and